This is the third video for the 5-1-B lesson on horizontal vertical lines. We're now going to, now that we've done like the intro or warm-up problems, we're going to apply this um, on the remaining slides. And this one says we're going to write the equation for the graph line. Um, and if correct, with these little graphs, you'll kind of get some instant feedback that you did this correct. And it also reminds us, notice that the y-intercept for this line is none. Oh, so this is that weird one that um, even though it goes up and down, it's going to be x equals, and I'm going to look that this is actually at negative 7. So x equals negative 7, and I get that confirmation that that is correct. Um, so I keep having to tell myself that this is maybe backwards, that a vertical line is going to be x equals. Notice it doesn't have another variable. It's one variable. This one is horizontal. We're going to write the equation for this graph line. Um, and it says it does have a y-intercept of 0, 2, or b equals 2. And so this is going to be horizontal, so it's going to be y equals, even though the y-axis is up and down, and it's at 2. And then, and again, feel free to pause or rewind this video, or maybe even try the next two. I'm going to go through the next two slides. Then they're going to give us some descriptions of a line, and we're going to type it in. So this time the graph doesn't have a line, but it maybe has some points or some facts. We want a slope that is 0 and a y-intercept of 0, negative 3. So a slope of 0 is going to be horizontal, and so I'm going to want y equals negative 3. There isn't any work to show for this other than remembering those two summary slides that if you didn't write those down you want to go back to, which is that a horizontal line has zero slope, and is y equals a number. And click share with class. And this one's going to be undefined, which means it's going to be vertical, x equals. All we're doing is stealing the x value. So it's x equals. We want it to go through an x value right there. We want a line that looks like this. That's going to be x equals 5. So we'll also, if we're not sure, we get some feedback here if we're doing this correct. You might even open up a Desmos graph as you're doing your homework if you're not certain of some of these. 